Hello everyone. Today we're going to do another art journal tag in the little tag journal we made using Artsy Arabia. Um, all these tiny little elements that are in these packs that are just too small to use with an art journal. So I made a tag journal. Let me move you out just a little bit. Um, I made the video on it, but I used it because there's a lot of little tiny elements that are just too small. And this tag is even smaller. It's two and a half by five and a quarter. And you see the elements fit on it just fine. But yeah, there's there's the difference in size. So what I want to use today are some distress inks. I have a bunch of Tim Holtz distress inks and we'll use that. Um, I want to try, I got this for my birthday. My brother sent me an Amazon gift card and I've always wanted to try watercolor ground to use in some of my art journals and coloring books. So we're going to try that today. Let me move this. And these, I mean, are tiny. They're tiny little pieces, as you can see. So I have this tiny little cup that I'm going to put them in so that I don't lose them. Because, yes, that's how tiny they are. Let us, sorry for the reach, get a paintbrush. And it's just a, a paintbrush that came with one of my gelatos. Um, that's awfully small though. I'll use this. This came with something. Not sure what, but let's put some on here. I'm just opening it. And I'll just actually use what's on this lid. That's an awful lot, so I'll brush it off because I don't want to waste it. I'm, I'm super stingy <laughs> because things cost quite a bit, so I don't want to waste any. All right. Move this over here. It's very thick, very creamy. I want to see if it'll help move the distress inks better. So I'll just put a thin layer on it. Try not to have too many brush strokes in it. I know, yes, a lot of people say they can make their own. I, I'm i not that adventurous, but maybe I'll try it down the road. And I don't want my fingerprint in that. I'll try to get that out. All right. Let me soften that up a little bit. All right, close this up. I'll go ahead and dry this and we'll be right back. Okay, and like I said, this is just an experiment. Now, I, I'm kind of going for a nightish sky, so I will use, let's see, these are my greens, that's browns, not those. Let's try Dusty Concord, and I have Broken China. Those are the only ones that I have that would do for blue. So I'm just going to put some Broken China down 
and just a touch of the Concord grape or the Concord, but it is purple. And I'm going to wet it. Now, remember, I put the absorbent ground on my card because I, I kind of want it to move around a little better. And that's awfully light, so I'll wipe that off. And I'll just come back in. I won't put too much water because there's already some water on here. Just give a light spritz. Pick it up. That's better. Oops. And give a little another. Try to get my whole card. And I'll just wipe it up. Normally I would put it down on tissue, but that's all right. Now, that's looking pretty good. Let me stand up here and maybe move you in a little bit closer so you can see better. But then you can't see what's going on over here, which is, you know, it is what it is. So, I'm going to put some of the purple down. And I might try a little bit of peacock feathers. Why not? I mean, I'm just trying for... Let me pick up and clean this brush that I used. And maybe I can pick this up and deposit it. Let's mix it up, see if we get a much darker color. And just lay this in there. Move it around maybe. And then lay it down. I like that, and I'll just and then just keep picking it up, dry it a little bit. it up and I'll just keep picking up until there's none left but I need a darker background so hmm. let me figure this out I'll be right back okay so I have dilutions after midnight which is like a purpley blue but this this is so old this is just paint and water that I mixed up a long time ago. Um, I don't even know if it's any good. Looks like it. But that's... Mm, let's see what that looks like when I add a little bit of water to it. I might just put that down here at the bottom. I mean... It's like a darkish, greenish blue, I guess. So, ugh, that always comes out so much, and I don't need that much. So what I might do is find a tissue paper that I've been using to mop up things and try and pick up some of this see yeah that was that would have been way too much and there yeah because it's a it's like a purpley 
So let's just add it and then we'll hit it so that it flows a little bit better and I can actually do that. Pick up some of the corners. I'm liking that. There, that's how I'll keep it. And I'll just clean up all this. I should have just used the, uh, taken the sprayer out. Oof, always, always on my hands. And I'll just use this to clean it up. All right, I will dry this and be right back. Okay, I love the effect that the absorbent ground gave the inks. Very watercolory. I like the variations in colors um, and the way it spread them out. So, hmm. Need to do a couple of white splashes for stars. So, let me get the white paint. All right, I have my white paint here. I'm just going to open the lid because I don't need a lot because this card is very small. And I was trying to go for a night sky, but I was only using inks. But that's okay. It'll still be pretty. Let me add some more water over here. And... That looks good anyway, because this is a very small tag. All right. Hopefully those stay because these are inks and they will react with whatever white you put on there. I mean, I can try to dark it up, darken it up with some black soot. Maybe we'll put that on the edge. of our card, but let me get something to wipe this paint off with. Alright, um, hmm, do I want to put these down? These tiny little pieces. And I do mean tiny. Let's see. And then a star there. And the... Whew, I need to pick up this with my tweezers. The sentiment, which is little, says, you make a difference. So I'll put that there. And I'll just move this maybe this way. And just grab this little one this way. There's my other star. And just like that. I'm going to play it down just a little bit better. There we go. And that's how I'm going to put that on. So let me grab my glue. That's what's on my desk right now. And I will pick them up, make sure I'm in the shot here, and put them on. 
And once this glue runs out, all I'm going to do is water down some Eileen's Tacky Glue and use the same container. All right. I'll put her down. They're good friends. The elephant is telling the girl, or the girl is telling the elephant, that you make a difference. No matter who or what you are, you make a difference. And this page does not have to have a ton of rhyme or reason. Um, it's just for fun. That's all it is. And maybe I'll put that one here. Up there. Maybe up here. And that way I can move that star up there. That's a lot of blue there. I'll go here. It's no big deal where it goes. Put it right there. And I'm going to put that right there because I'm going to have to punch through it. Which is fine. I'll just find a piece that I don't mind being punched through. And I'll just put my stars here. lay it down give it a good press see because I'll, I'll punch out the rest of this hole here on the back so that when I put it back in the journal let me move back out just a smidge there we go and Let me get a blender. I just have a makeup sponge. And let's see. I have black set that I'll go around the edges with. I'll just pick up some. And I'll hold it and just go around the edge. Sorry about that. I could do a border. I'm sorry if that was too close. But there, I use that. And I could add more white splashes if I wanted. But there is our tag for today. I'll go ahead and fix the hole in it. I'll actually turn it over so that I can do it. And, and there we go. Oops, sorry. I'll just move this out of the way. And I mean, you can do so much more. You, what I do is just give you a starting point so that you can exercise your own creativity.
and on a two and a half by five and a quarter little tag that we will put in the movie out our tag journal and it'll use up the very small pieces in the art by Marlene thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video um, please comment like and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet it will help with my channel and I appreciate all the subscribers that I have now thanks for watching have a great day bye for now